Recently in the news, a 55-year-old man uh, not wearing a helmet, riding this 2016 Harley Davidson, hit a deer and he got ejected from his bike, hit the ground with his head, and he lost his life. He paid the ultimate price because he didn't wear a helmet. You know, I will say that even if he was wearing a helmet, he could have died too, but there is a, a, a higher chance of him surviving had he wore a helmet. And it's very unfortunate to see so many riders out here in Ohio that don't wear a helmet because it's not required by law here. Guys, in this video, I'm going to give you some helpful tips to help you avoid hitting a deer and having a real effed up day. Let's go for a ride. watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today continue to leave video suggestions but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through first off I highly recommend that you get an airbag vest I have a link in the description and comment section of this video and I'm, I'm connecting my tether right now I did a full review video on this. Go check it out, guys. This is a lifesaver. This probably, this paired with a helmet for that Harley Davidson rider probably could have saved his life, man. But a lot of people are busy trying to look cool out here for the ladies on their bikes, man. And like I tell you guys, a lot of these women don't care. They think you're douchebags out here, man. <laughs> Wear that gear, guys. The best thing you can do first off is practice emergency braking out here in an empty parking lot which I'm getting ready to do right now that's the number one best thing you can do right off the bat stop yeah speed stop fast squeeze squeeze the brake you gotta squeeze don't just grab at it that's what you need to learn to do a lot of riders they grab all front bait fast and then they end up you know going over the handlebars so practice that that's what they teach you at the MSF class speed see that practice that and I'll tell you guys when you know a deer if you see a deer do not try to swerve if you see a deer running out when you stop you're gonna have to stop head on you see that deer bam hit that brake like that squeeze not just grab at it use both your front and rear brake i'll tell you guys if you try to swerve to avoid a deer you could end up being you know thrown over here in a ditch running off the side of the road hitting a telephone pole or something losing control just take it you're gonna have to go head on when it comes to a deer man it's not like a car you know uh, deer can be very tricky when they run across and they dart across the street fast like this is a prime area right here man you can't see them see how you know the trees are right up almost up to the road and you can't it's so dense in there you really can't see and if they have like uh you know say there's another animal chasing the deer and they just dart i mean they can dart out within a split second so you know these tips that i give you may not help you know what i'm saying but you need all the tips you can get to help you know help you stay safe out here but woo! oh baby <laughs> that tuano that power oh baby i love this bike next best thing you can do is avoid riding at dusk uh, at night and early in the morning because that's when they're most active i'll tell you the only incident that i had where a deer kind of ran across the road but it wasn't real close up on me but it was the only time i really had a deer run up run in front of me like that it was at uh, it was at night Whoa, uh, ah! <laughs> It's startling, you know, but I stay sharp on it. I expect animals to run across the road. I expect cars to pull out in front of me. I expect cars across the double yellow. You know, that's what separates me 
from a lot of these a lot of you riders out there a lot of you riders out there don't ride defensively you don't ride as though these cars are going to attack you or animals are going to run out of it you have to be ready because if you're ready and you you're you're waiting for it then you're going to have a better reaction time if you're going to ride at night put your high beams on if you can you know especially if you're in the rural areas because that affects some bright light so you always pay attention to cars look in their eyes make sure they're looking at you look at the look at the characteristics of the car when it's pulling out like that but when it comes to these deer out here it could be scary man i've seen you you could look on youtube there's been some motor vlogs that have hit some deer out there and it happens fast and boom they run out just like i had that that rabbit that ran across the road when i was on my yz 450fx i saw it i was ready for it but it's little and I didn't, you know, I didn't have to stop fast because I, I wasn't worried about it. I wasn't really going all that fast. And that's another thing is that when you speed, it reduces your reaction time as well. You know, I, you know I'm not going to be a hypocrite out here and act like I don't speed. You know, I'm speeding a lot out here, which is a bad thing. Because if you're speeding out here and that deer runs across at the right time, or should I say the wrong time? <laughs> and uh, it's very unlikely that you're going to be able to stop yourself and, and prevent hitting that deer and having a real effed up day. I'll tell you that right now. So it really pays to not speed out here, man. Uh, but I don't know how fast that, har that guy was going on his Harley Davidson. Uh, but it can happen to you at any speed. Uh, another thing I would say is that you need to pay attention to deer crossing signs because that's going to be an area where there's a lot of deer that's crossing in that area you got to pay attention to these signs out here man you should be doing that anyhow but if you see a deer sign you need to slow your butt down and be ready you know which you should be ready at all times in my opinion like i said right out here as though everything's out to get you that's how you're going to stay safe out here a lot of you guys don't like me talking like that because you're saying you like you think cycle cruiser that's doom and gloom why even ride a motorcycle if you're gonna ride around all scared and everything it's not riding scared it's riding around out here like a ninja being ready to react at any given moment you know you can enjoy yourself out here riding but you gotta ride smart yeah uh, this is a game of chess out here on the street not checkers the shit's chess it ain't checkers you know, like Denzel Washington said in uh, trading, training day. <laughs> this, is, this is chess, not checkers. Another thing is, in my opinion, I believe a loud exhaust helps. <laughs> because when I'm on my CBR, when I was on my CBR 1000 R and CBR 600 R, I would grab the throttle and they would stop dead right there. A horn wouldn't really do much because these horns are really weak on your bike. That's another thing. I highly recommend upgrading your horn, which uh, I did with my WR250R, but I haven't done with my other bikes. But uh, I've always relied on my exhaust note, you know, my exhaust on my CBR 1000 R and former 600 R. I've revved the throttle. If I see a deer peeking through the, through the woods, I've revved that throttle. And that would kind of startle them and scare them. Um, so that's something yeah, Let's go here, man. I ain't going there. Yeah, baby See I shouldn't be speeding like that man. <laughs> uh, Especially I got that speed ticket man, you know what I'm saying and then when I get a speed ticket I'm out here whining and crying <laughs> Talking about I need to get a Harley Davidson cruiser So I don't speed out here if you see a deer out here you see one that cross the street you can expect there's going to be others so if you see one there's probably others because they travel in groups when i'm out in rural areas when i expect you know where there's high animal activity i say i'm riding in the evening um i'll move my bike i'll be in the movement too like this just kind of being in movement so it kind of catches maybe uh the deer's eye he sees a moving object like that instead of just me staying in a stagnant line um, I can't tell you if that's going to 100% keep you safe <laughs> like I said these these are just tips to help you out here guys um, shit can happen like I tell you out here shit can happen no matter how great of a defensive rider you are 
you know no matter how precautious you are no matter how you stick to riding the, the speed limits out here uh, you know shit can happen that's just life but that can happen off the motorcycle like I told you my brother rode a motorcycle from the ages of 7 to 30 years old he never got hurt on a bike and he was the craziest dude on a motorcycle that I ever knew doing 100 mile per hour wheelies and just riding crazy out here and he never got hurt on a motorcycle but he dropped dead of a brain aneurysm I should say he died laying in his bed he didn't drop dead he died laying in his bed that's the, the, considered the safest place in the world is you laying in your bed, right? Nope, your own body can attack you, man. So you're never safe, guys. So if you want to ride a motorcycle, get out here and ride a motorcycle. You got to ride smart, though. Wear that gear. This is what's going to keep you safe. The helmet, airbag vest, your jacket. I got right now I'm wearing my CE armor jacket. It's got the CE armor gear. It flows a ton of air, so it keeps me cool in the summertime, but yet it's protective. Um, I include links to all of my stuff in the description and comment section of my videos or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my gear and that's links to all my stuff. Big thumbs up, check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.